Hey, good morning, guys. This is your local neighborhood hope dealer out here in San Diego. Most beautiful place in the world. I'll tell you what, man. Super thankful to live here, guys. I love you guys. I hope everything's going good today. It's hump day. All right. We're going to get through this week, right? We're going to devote a little bit of time to the Lord right now. The one that can save your whole entire life, guys, with just a mustard seed to make just a choice. Thank the Lord for some free will, you know, that we're able to choose him and we don't have to have him, but we're able to choose him. And once we do that, he takes a mustard seed and he lets it grow from within with gratitude to where we can be consistent and we can become assets on this planet, guys. And we're thankful for that. All right. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, so much for everything that you do. Father, please continue to protect Big Mike Delgado and their family, Father. Please, Father, watch over the McCoy family as they grieve, Father. Please take care of Bud McCoy up there in heaven, Father. We thank you so much for everything that you do in our entire lives, Father, because you give us chance after chance after chance after chance to get this thing called right, called life, Father. We thank you, Lord, for free will because we're able to choose you, Father. We're the only species on the planet that has free will and is able to choose you, Father. And we thank you, Lord, for that and everything that you do that we don't deserve anything but we are sinners saved by grace father and you save us with a mustard seed that we water with gratitude that we now become consistent and now we become assets on this planet and we are no longer liabilities to everybody around us and we love you father as we line our habits up with our conscience we can learn to walk with you father and we love you with our whole heart in jesus name i pray amen <clears throat> amen guys good morning Feeling good today, man. I'm about three days out from uh, feeling symptoms, and I feel absolutely amazing right now, guys. And I'm so thankful for that. I'm thankful for the Lord. I'm thankful to spread the good news. I'm thankful for this purpose that's been given me. I'm thankful to be free. You know what I'm saying? Free within my own spirit. And I'm just thankful for these things, guys. And today I want to talk about free will. You know, we have our own, um, um, our, 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 new, our, new, our own free will to be able to choose. And that's so powerful because I know... I, and when I look back in hindsight in my life, guys, you know, like there was a time in baseball where I felt like I had to play it. Like, 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 like I didn't choose really. I had to play it because it's all that I knew. And you kind of start to feel like you're in bondage to that thing. You know, my drug addiction, right? I needed drugs. I needed the drug. And I had, to, and I had to put myself around people that helped me get the drug. I had to date someone that helped me get the drug. I had to have friends that helped me get the drug. I never went to another house unless the drug was there, guys. You understand what I'm saying? So, so I never really actually understood what free will was, you know, and, and true freedom, man. Even if we're not in prison, we could still be in a prison in our brain, guys. I know that my drug addiction made me in a prison of like a three block radius and a bicycle and I rode it around, you know what I'm saying? Like, dun, 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 like the wicked witch, baby. <laughs> and now... I found the Lord, and because He doesn't force Himself on you, He makes you choose Him. He had this, He doesn't make you. He wants you to choose Him. So now our own free will chooses the Lord. So now I feel like I live my life in freedom. You know, I have rules, guys. I have things that keep me safe, right? I went to the Salvation Army for a year. You learn how to totally re reconstruct and transform your life around. So I have the rules that I learned there that they keep me safe, guys. They keep me safe. And then what I've learned with the Lord from the inside out with grace and faith and all these things, they set me free, guys. And God loves nothing more than faith, right? So... And during the time that you're going to wait for your blessing, he's building your character. So when the blessing comes, you're able to handle the blessing. You guys understand what I'm saying? So what I do in the morning, this is what I do, guys. I pray for God to give me what I can handle right? I say, Lord, please, Father, just give me what I can handle for today, all right? Because all we have is the moment, and we'll have the moment next week and the moment 10 years from now. So if I continue to pray for what I can handle, I will always be in the moment, right? And then I, after I've asked the Lord for it, I already start to thank him for it, all right, guys? I start to thank him for it. Dude, like six months ago, man, six months ago, I was over at the Milton house, and I was walking over to Hartford, right? And excuse me, I was walking over to the Hartford house and I was wanting to spread the good news more, you know? And at this point I had no Facebook, no TikTok, no, um, no, uh, Instagram. I had nothing. I had, had stayed off social media for like two years and three months, no social media. 
So I started asking the Lord to help me spread the good news more. So now if we look at, and I started thanking him for this. Now, if I look, you know, five, six, seven months more, guys, I got my Facebook channel. I got a YouTube channel. I got a, a TikTok. I got an Instagram. And I constantly now have this new platform to be able to spread the good news. And, and, and all I did was ask the Lord to open up more opportunity. And plus, I've done the sermon at San Diego ARC. I've, I've spoken at numerous amounts of meetings. I've shared. And God has just absolutely opened the door for me to be able to spread the good news. And I see, I heard Tony Robbins talk about when you're hyper vigilant to what you want to do in your life, you will start to recognize little things that help you, help you get to that goal, you know? And I love that. And every morning when I wake up, I want to spread the good news. So I'm looking for every opportunity to do this. And because of my free will that I choose the Lord, he opens up everything for me and I don't have to be with him. I choose to be with him and everything in my life I choose to be with now. So I'm not held in bondage and I'm so Super, super thankful for that right there. The freedom of the Lord that he gives you from the inside out, guys, is absolutely most amazing, guys. Most amazing, all right? And I just wanted to talk about free will today, how great and how awesome it is. And that not a dog doesn't have free will. A bear doesn't have free will. A bird doesn't have free will. They all go off instinct. But we have the ability to have free will. God made us in the image of him so we can grow more like Jesus and we can turn our lives around and we can become how Jesus was and he was the most kind awesome person to ever walk the earth and he helped miscrints and misfits like me and he saved their lives to show power in their testimony and now i have a purpose to spread the good news woo woo super thankful screaming it from the mountain tops <laughs> so anyways check this out i'm gonna read from my book right here and i love right in the beginning right here it says find freedom through seeking to please me above all else, guys. The Bible guides us. When you learn how God likes to be pleased, love your neighbor like yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, iron sharpens iron as man sharpens man. Like when you read the Bible and you learn what to stay away from and what you can to go around, then God is pleased, guys. And God loves you, right? And he is a jealous God. He wants you to worship him. He does not want you to put any other idol out in the front of your life. And I've tried them all and they all end miserably, all right? Right? The Lord has always continually worked everything out for the common good in my life. And I'm thankful for that, guys. And I'm so thankful. Please me above uh, all else. You can have only one master. Only one master. You got to put God first and then the blessings will trickle down. And as you wait for the blessing, he's working on your character and the blessing hits you. And now you can handle the blessing, guys. It's an amazing thing. All right. We got to have patience. You got to have a good attitude while you wait. All right. We got to wait well. It's called waiting well. Wait well so your character will grow. All right. Uh, you scatter your energy to the winds. Wait, when, when you let other expectations drive you, you scatter your energy to the winds. Your own desires uh, to look good can also drain your energy, all right? Can also drain your energy. I am your master, and I do not drive you to be what you are not. He drives you to be who you are. Your pretense displeases me, especially when it is in my service. Concentrate on staying close to me at all times. It is impossible to be inauthentic while you are focusing on my presence. Ephesians 5, 8, 10. Matthew 23, 8, and Matthew 6, 1. Do you guys understand what it says? It says, it is impossible to be inauthentic, guys. We are con we are continuing to be our authentic self, all right? We're not being conformed by the earth, okay? We are becoming authentic through God, right? And it's crazy. We are so special. Our fingerprints, guys, our fingerprints are only our own. There's a, so many people on the planet, and we are, and God has made us each and one of us different than the other, guys. And I believe that now, and I believe that I'm on my own course if i thought about san diego how many people are down here and why would god want to work with me then i would blow my mind out of proportion i'd be like oh my gosh there's no way but, but i believe that i walk with the lord and i choose god and everyone in the world has the opportunity to choose him and they can walk with the lord so since my free will is able to choose god i now walk with the lord and i've been built from the inside out and this is only about three years i can't wait for 10 years you know what I'm saying? I can't wait till I continue to get these strengths and these habits lined up with my conscience and I can continue to walk with the Lord. And as I continue to ask the Lord for things to spread the good news and then I continually thank him through faith, guys, and I continue to bear, bury my life with faith and not fear, I can't wait to see what God has in store for me, guys. But hey, it's Wednesday. 
<laughs> it's Wednesday. Let's have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you for joining in and listening. I love to spread the good news. You know, like I said, I was a dope fiend, mar I was a dope fiend heroin, uh, methamphetamine addict that had turned his life around. All right, I turned my life around and I continue to try my hardest one day at a time. All right, guys, I'm not exempt from ever relapse, but I do definitely continue to cling to the Lord and try to walk with him. And he's changed my life from the inside out, guys. And the results are just absolutely amazing, guys. Hey, I got a YouTube channel over on YouTube. It's Monty Mansfield Hope Dealer. Check it out. Subscribe. Get the word out there, guys. And just thank you so much, guys. And let's remember, let's choose with our free will, God's will, just for today. Today matters. Thank you, guys.